Before you launch Warzone, your system could already be holding you back. This is the most complete Warzone optimization guide for 2025. They'll start with system and steam tweaks to set the foundation, then fine tune in game settings for the best FPS, clarity, and low input latency. Let's dolly in your PC. First thing we're going to do is go to game mode settings. We're going to turn your game mode setting on for optimization, go to graphics, and then turn on your optimization windowed games to on as well. What this do is basically free up CPU and GPU, uh, reduce latency, and ensure stable performance. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to enable ultimate performance. So what we do here is go to CMD, and you're going to put in this power configuration code here. I'll put this on the screen as well in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. And once you enable that, you go to your power um, plan here. And it'll show up with this. Just click show additional plans and click ultimate performance. It'll give you three. It doesn't matter which one you pick. But uh, just make sure you switch to ultimate performance. Uh, basically what this does is it prevents your CPU from power saving or throttling during matches. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to full screen optimize uh, the game. So what you'll do is go to your folders here, go to your PC and wherever your Call of Duty is saved. So mine is on the C drive. Go to 86 here and scroll down to Steam. Go to your Steam apps, go to Common and go to Call of Duty HQ. Once you go there, just scroll down to where you get the COD uh, application or EXE and just right click go to shore mode options go to properties go to compatibility and then go to disable full screen optimization make sure you check that uh, on basically this stops windows from interfering with full screen rendering and scaling and then go to change high DPI settings and go down to where it says high DPI scaling override. Make sure you click that and leave it as application and press OK and apply. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to fine tune the NVIDIA control panel settings for Warzone. So when you get the NVIDIA control panel settings uh, launched here, you're going to go to manage 3D settings. And what we're going to find first is low latency mode. You're going to turn this to ultra. Your power management will be next, which you're going to do uh, maximum performance. And then we're going to go to texture filtering uh, quality here. We're going to go to high performance and we're going to find vertical sync and we're going to turn that off. Um, G sync you can have on only if uh, your monitor supports it and it's full screen only. Basically, these settings uh, will boost your GPU responsiveness and frame pacing. And once you're done setting all those options up, go ahead and go to adjust desktop color settings. And you're just going to want to change your digital vibrance between 65 and 75%. This is going to improve enemy uh, visibility in shadows or fog heavy maps. Um, so just change that to 65, 75 or whatever you're comfortable with. Next thing we're going to do is in Steam, we're going to go to the library, go to Call of Duty properties, go to controller and change your uh, controller settings to disable steam input. So what this does is it gives raw input controller to the game, so it's eliminating the steam interface. Once you're done doing the controller settings, you can go to general here and do your launch options. You're gonna put in these exact uh, launch options here. I'll put them on the screen and in the description below so you can copy and paste it. Basically what this is going to do is make it so your CPU runs at the highest priority um, it's going to unlock full CPU thread usage and it's going to use DX11 which is more stable on many setups. Uh, you can test and base it uh, on system stability so just see what works for you and what doesn't. Now that your system is fully optimized let's launch Warzone and apply the best settings. Once your game is loaded up head over to the settings tab here go to graphics and we're going to start at display first. So display mode, I recommend using full screen exclusive. Uh, unless you all tab lots, then full screen borderless is fine. Uh, head down to NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Make sure this is on plus boost. And then make sure your V-Sync is turned off. Once you're done with display here, uh, go to quality. 
go to upscaling and sharpening, change it to Fidelity FXCAS, go to the show more option here and change it between 75 to 90%, uh, whichever you like most. Head down to texture resolution, change this to normal. Uh, go down to particle resolution, change this to low. Make sure the bullet impacts is off, uh, shader quality is low. Uh, On-demand texture streaming, make sure this is minimal. Uh, shadow quality, turn this to uh, low as well. Uh, occlusion spacing, uh, turn this off. Tessellation off as well, and all of these settings off or very low. Uh, what this does is it prevents all those micro stutters and makes the game a lot more smoother. And that is basically it, guys, for optimizing your PC and in-game settings. Uh, just the final tips that I have here are the basically cleanups. So make sure you clear your shader cache after every major update. Keep your GPU drivers updated as well. Uh, disable any startup apps in Task Manager. So just go to Task Manager here, go to your startup apps, and just disable all the ones that you don't need um, to start up with Windows. Uh, and then restart your PC after you set all these before you launch Warzone just to apply all the settings. Now your entire system from Windows to Warzone is optimized for the best performance. Expect to speed with frames, clear visuals, and low input lag. If this helps, let me know your FPS games in the comments. Like, sub, and stay locked in with FPS Forge, where we make your PC sweat less and frag more. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.